As a repair professional today, you're getting squeezed like never before. All your costs have gone up. Rent, taxes, gas, labor, utilities. Meanwhile, competition has increased greatly. The only way to improve your income is to repair more vehicles in less time. Mac Tools has the tool that will immediately and dramatically improve your business today. It's called the Mac Leak Attack, and it pays for itself in one month, but it pays you for a lifetime. The Mac Leak Attack Diagnostic Leak Detector is a smoke machine that is profitable, simple, safe, and most importantly, fast. This OEM approved smoke technology is not only for EVAP emission systems. The number one best use of the Mac Leak Attack is not just to find leaks, but to find more repair jobs and more profit. As a professional technician, when your expensive scan tool shows you a trouble code caused by a leaking condition, what tool do you pick up to locate and repair the leak? Think about that as we show you how to save time and to make more money using the Mac Leak Attack. The Mac Tools Mac Leak Attack Professional Diagnostic Leak Detector can easily find leaks resulting in big tickets for your shop and commonly find damaged or disconnected vacuum lines, leaking gaskets and fittings, cracked or broken plastic components, leaking diaphragms and seats, worn throttle shafts, leaking or cracked exhaust or intake manifolds, especially plastic intake manifolds, engine blocks, oil seals, catalytic converters, under dash climate control and central locking system leaks, idle motors and solenoids, brake boosters, charcoal canisters, intercoolers and turbochargers. But did you know you can also check for wind and water leaks around doors, windows and sunroofs, and leaky headlamp and tail lamp housings? Locating leaks with smoke is not a new technology. It's been used for hundreds of years for a variety of purposes. It was not until the late 1990s that this technology was adopted by automotive technicians across the globe as the fastest and most accurate way to locate common leak sources found in today's automobiles. Diagnostic leak detectors save time because they locate leaks fast. Finally, there is an affordable tool that is simple and inexpensive to operate. Mac Tools is proud to introduce the Mac Leak Attack Professional Diagnostic Leak Detector. The Diagnostic Leak Detector is simply the finest tool available to the automotive technician today. With only one button and one knob, it's the smartest choice for any shop and can perform EVAP, vacuum, exhaust, and many other types of testing. Because of its compact design, it can be hung under the hood when testing for vacuum leaks or fuel vapor recovery, EVAP system leaks. Or it may be hung from the chassis when looking for undercar leaks. When you are done finding leaks with your diagnostic leak detector, it stores easily and out of your way. Because the diagnostic leak detector operates on medicinal mineral oil, or commonly known as baby oil, there is no need to purchase expensive smoke compounds. The bright halogen inspection light illuminates the smoke exiting the leaks and is an essential aid. The Mac Leak Attack Professional Diagnostic Leak Detector uses a 0 to 30 H2O pressure gauge to verify the output pressure of the machine. This gauge is also helpful while performing pressure decay testing and verifying an EVAP repair. The diagnostic leak detector also features a flow control valve. The flow control valve serves two purposes. First, this valve allows the operator to adjust the amount of smoke exiting the leak, making it easier to pinpoint its exact location. Second, this flow control valve allows the operator to perform pressure decay testing by simply closing the valve to lock out any system and read the pressure drop on the pressure gauge. This feature is very helpful in testing the EVAP system for leaks. 
If a leak too small to show up on the flow meter ever trips a code or causes other problems in the future, it can be detected using this pressure decay method. This means your diagnostic leak detector will not become obsolete. Another valuable feature of the diagnostic leak detector is the integrated flow meter. At a glance, the operator can verify if smoke is flowing into the system under test. The diagnostic leak detector incorporates a tamper-proof inline regulator that regulates the input air pressure to the flow meter at 90 psi. At this pressure, the operator can quickly verify the size of a leak in the system. A 0.02 leak will register about 0.1 liters per minute. A 0.04 leak will register about 0.5 liters per minute. Quick and easy to set up and operate. The diagnostic leak detector is simple to hook up and easy to operate. Just connect the machine to compressed air and clip the power leads to the vehicle's battery. The green light indicates you're hooked up to the car battery. The red light indicates you're in a smoke cycle. Push the silver button to start a five minute smoke cycle. Press this button again to stop the smoke cycle at any time. That's all there is to it. We're ready to start testing. Let's take a look at a few typical leaks and how to find them. The most common leak found in automobiles is a vacuum leak. A vacuum leak can range from a leaky intake manifold to a rotten or broken vacuum line or fitting to a climate control leak under the dashboard. Let's go over the basic hookup of the diagnostic leak detector to locate vacuum leaks. First, we must find a source to introduce the smoke into the system. A good choice is the brake booster vacuum supply line because every car has one and it does not disturb anything else in the system. We must also seal the intake so that smoke cannot escape back through the open intake path. The yellow cap plugs provided will seal most applications. In the event that the intake is troublesome to seal, a piece of saran wrap or a latex glove and a rubber band will do the job in most cases. Another good choice is the air inlet tube. Using the exhaust cone adapter provided, Plug this tube and introduce the smoke through the small hose in the center of the exhaust cone. This method is simple and should be the first choice whenever possible. It's not uncommon to find oil leaks while looking for vacuum leaks, but think about it. These oil leaks are vacuum leaks. Until now, exhaust leaks have been difficult to pinpoint because they had to be located with the engine running. Small exhaust leaks tend to go away as the engine warms up due to thermal expansion. The diagnostic leak detector will find even the smallest leak in the exhaust system with the engine off and the system cold. Exhaust leaks are simple to find with the diagnostic leak detector using the supplied exhaust cone adapter. Simply install the exhaust cone into the vehicle's tailpipe and insert the smoke supply nozzle into its hose. Now just turn on the smoke supply and look for the leak using the supply halogen lamp. Quick fact, about 20 million cars today are driving around with check engine lights on. A large percentage are EVAP codes caused by leaks, which can be fixed easily with a Mac Tools Mac Leak Attack Professional Diagnostic Leak Detector. These repairs bring big profits to your business. Some of the most common trouble codes confronting technicians today are related to a leaking condition in the EVAP or fuel vapor recovery system. Until now, these leaks have been difficult at best to locate and repair. Let's go over how easy it is to locate these troublesome EVAP leaks with the diagnostic leak detector. First, locate the EVAP service port. Most 96 and newer cars have one, and it usually has a green cap. Remove the Schrader valve using the tool provided. Note that the Schrader valve has left-hand threads and must be turned clockwise to remove. If the vehicle does not have a service port, 
it may be necessary to remove the vent line to the gas tank at the charcoal canister. Another way is to tee into the evaporative emission line at or near the purge valve without bypassing the purge valve. Next, install the service port adapter provided and insert the diagnostic leak detector's nozzle into the short hose leading from the service port adapter. We're now ready to begin testing the EVAP system. If the vehicle is equipped with a vent solenoid that is normally open, it's necessary to close this solenoid using your scan tool before pressurizing the EVAP system. With the diagnostic leak detector connected to the vehicle's battery and a compressed air source, simply open the flow control valve and watch the pressure increase on the pressure gauge. Take a look at the flow meter to see if air is flowing through the system. Remember, a leak rate of 0.1 liters per minute equals a 0.02 leak. A leak rate of 0.5 liters per minute equals a 0.04 leak. To verify these flow readings, close the flow control valve and look at the pressure gauge. If the pressure in the system is decreasing, a leak exists and we will now find it with smoke. Be sure that the diagnostic leak detector is connected to a fully charged battery. To produce smoke, press the silver button on the front of the machine. The diagnostic leak detector will produce smoke for five minutes or until the button is pushed again, stopping the smoke producing cycle. While the system is being filled with smoke, remove the fuel cap and wait until thick smoke is visible exiting the fuel neck. You may need to depress the flapper valve inside the fuel neck to get a good flow. Now reinstall the fuel cap and look for the smoke exiting the leak source. If smoke does not exit the fuel neck in a minute or two, access the EVAP system through the vent line to the gas tank at the charcoal canister. The bright halogen lamp provided will illuminate the exiting smoke, making it much easier to see. Follow the path associated with the EVAP system until the leak source is located. Once the leak is located and repaired, recheck the system to verify that the repair has solved the problem. Do a quick pressure decay test using air only to confirm. Remove the service port adapter and reinstall the Schrader valve and protective cap. Find wind and water leaks around windows and doors. This test is performed using smoke from the outside of the car. Roll up the windows and turn the fresh air fan motor to the max setting. Make sure this is not set to recirculate. From the outside of the car, using a diffuser, any short piece of hose with a diameter of about 5 eighths placed over the nozzle to create a thicker flume of smoke. Move the smoke around the area where the leak is suspected. Hold the smoke a few inches from the test area and search for the disturbance caused by the leak. Now mark the area and make the repair. This test must be conducted in still air. You may want to close the doors in the shop for this one. Repairing leaky tail lamp housings are a snap. Simply remove the tail lamp housing, insert the diagnostic leak detector nozzle in the bulb hole. Use a little silicone to make the repair and replace. Lean codes, drivability issues, EVAP codes, and many other repair opportunities can now be fixed in a fraction of the time it took before. A tool once reserved for the big dealerships are now being used by service facilities and national chains across the country aggressively competing for the profitable diagnostic repairs made fast and simple with smoke machines. Buy the Mac Leak Attack Professional Diagnostic Leak Detector now and join the tens of thousands of technicians, dealerships and garage owners all around the world who use it every day. We're confident this will quickly become an essential tool you cannot live without. Ask your Mac Tools distributor for one today or go online to MacTools.com. Now that you've learned how to use the Mac Leak Attack, let's discuss some tips and techniques that you can use to maximize your profits. 
Let's talk about how to make money with your Mac Leak Attack Diagnostic Leak Detector, or DLD. First of all, use it every day. You should never perform a tune-up without including a quick smoke test of the intake system. You'll be amazed at what you find. Use it for vacuum, exhaust, EVAP, and many other applications. Smoke test most every car. Don't wait for a trouble code or a check engine light. If you get a car with 100,000 miles for a brake job, it'll only take you three minutes to smoke it. The beauty of this unit is that it weighs less than seven pounds and sets up quickly. Don't tell your customers about leaks, show your customers leaks. They cannot see a vacuum leak but they can certainly see smoke coming from a cracked manifold. Lastly, eliminate comebacks. Stop throwing parts at cars by guessing. Now you can perform the proper repair and confirm that it is 100% complete. Many garages do not fix vehicles with check engine lights. Let me tell you how profitable a check engine light program can be for you. First of all, how many vehicles with illuminated check engine lights do you get in your garage on a monthly basis? For this example, let's say just 12 lights, or 3 per week. You should know that 50% of vehicles with illuminated check engine lights are a leaking condition that can be quickly repaired with a diagnostic leak detector, or DLD. In our example, that means half of 12, or 6 leaks to be repaired. The average repair ticket is approximately 2.5 hours labor. Keep in mind that this is labor only, and there will undoubtedly be parts that need to be replaced as well. With six repairs at 2.5 hours, we have a monthly total of 15 hours repair time. You can see how quickly a diagnostic leak detector can pay for itself in just one month. And don't forget, it's going to pay you for a lifetime. Lastly, when you turn away a job, you are really turning away a customer. Let's talk about some additional services you can now offer with a Diagnostic Leak Detector, or DLD. You may offer a fuel economy checkup. Some people call this a smoke and scan. A vacuum leak is like a chest wound for a car. The vehicle's computer compensates for running lean by adding more fuel. This may make the car run okay, but it reduces gas mileage. If you get to be known as the garage in town to go to to increase fuel efficiency, you'll not have enough parking spaces for all your new customers. Even troublesome wind and water leaks are a breeze with a DLD. We talked about this earlier. Don't turn away customers for something as easy and profitable as servicing vehicles with illuminated check engine lights. EVAP emissions repairs are fast and easy when you use our DLD. There are dozens and dozens of uses for the diagnostic leak detector. Get creative and get more profits. Now that you've seen the immense benefits of this essential tool, contact your Mac Tools distributor today to see a live demonstration. It is the tool that will make a huge difference in your business immediately. You'll find the Mac Leak Attack to be the finest tool you have ever owned. Furthermore, you will make more money with it than any other tool in your repair facility. Buy one today and watch your profits grow.